Pull-ups are an excellent indication of overall strength. We love this exercise. We featured it in multiple videos, including our 12-week program, our eight-week program. It's one of our absolute favorites. Having said that, there are some mistakes you can make when performing this exercise, and we're gonna go over our top five today. Here we go, dudes. Mistake number one, using your momentum. What you don't wanna do, dudes, is use your momentum with your hips and your legs in order to get your chin above the bar. What we're trying to do here is build back strength. Yeah, you're gonna be able to perform a pull-up, but you're not really gonna get the benefits of the exercise. So mistake number one is going to be using momentum when doing a pull-up, as opposed to using back strength. You're a buff dude, not one of those box-loving, Kip junkies. Stake number two, elbows in the wrong position. What you wanna do when performing a pull-up is think of it like this. When you grab the bar and you're pulling yourself up, you wanna pull your elbows down and back. Think of it as you're trying to put your elbows in your back pockets. This is gonna be good because it's gonna track in line with the shoulders, which you also wanna turn down and back as you perform the pull-up. What you don't wanna do is keep those elbows nice and tight to your body and pull up just like this, which is basically kind of mimicking a chin-up and it's gonna activate the biceps. What we really wanna do is focus on the back in this exercise. Mistake number three, not pulling your shoulders down and back. This is a big one, dudes, and it goes right alongside mistake number two. What happens is when you're getting ready to perform a pull-up, your shoulders are up just like this at a dead hang. And if you just keep them that way, when you pull up, you're just doing an arm pull-up once again. You're not getting the proper backtivation. What you want to do is as you're performing the pull-up, you're at that dead hang, your shoulders are up, pull them down and back, and that's going to go right alongside putting your elbows in your back pockets. That way you're concentrating on your back and you're getting the full benefits of the pull-up. Mistake number four, not performing the full range of motion. This one is a really important one for obvious reasons. If you're not performing the full range of motion, once again, you're not getting the full benefits of the exercise. What you want to do is begin in a dead hang and then once you're ready to begin, as we said, pull those shoulders down and back put those elbows into your back pockets and put your chin above the bar. When you're finished with that, bring it back down into the dead hang position and then rep it out for as many as you can do. This is a really important one. You want that full range of motion. Mistake number five, not being able to complete a pull-up. Now, as many of you know, pull-ups are not an easy exercise to perform. Think about it. You're pulling up your whole body with each repetition, and some bodies are bigger than others, which leads pull-ups to being much harder than it is for others. Having said that, instead of trying to perform a pull-up when you can't, it will lead to many things. You won't be able to perform full range of motion. You'll be kipping which you know, you look like a fish out of water just trying to get that one repetition. It's not good, you shouldn't even be doing it. Instead, what you should be doing is progressing into a pull-up. And there's many different ways to do that. In fact, we have a great video on how to progress into doing your very first pull-up using exercise such as lat pull-downs and more. So check that out, dudes. And remember, mistake number five, if you can't complete a pull-up, don't try to force yourself to do it take the necessary steps in order to be able to complete a proper pull-up. All right, well, that wraps it up. Five mistakes you wanna avoid when performing a pull-up. As I said in the intro to the video, pull-ups is one of our absolute favorite exercises. It's an awesome back exercise, and it also just makes you feel really good, especially if you haven't completed one before and you progress up to one. It makes you feel like a buff dude, and that's what we're all trying to be, right? So subscribe. If you haven't already, I hope you have, comment, like, and leave some suggestions for future videos. Stay buff, dudes. <laughs>